so I don't know when this uh, laptop, I mean sorry, this camera stopped recording so suddenly it's like not working so uh, as I was saying the food in the breakfast is half of uh, what the, the normal big major resorts or hotels would serve but the food is at least precise to the point and uh, excellent uh, the laksa was really good and the hash browns of I don't know what you call it, hash puppies or something very crispy and very salty and uh, they have a very ingenious way of uh, cost cutting <coughs> For me, I like to take very long showers, very hot scalding showers for 10 minutes, 10 minutes or so inside the hotel room. Uh, the, they have an ingenious system to actually stop stop the water from being very hot and comes lukewarm after one minute. Uh, so I'm not that satisfied with the, the, the shower. So the, it's nice to have a room for yourself and it's like, it's quite an enjoyable stay in Kuching. So I want to thank all the pussies for a very nice beautiful town or city which is clean and beautiful in the botanical area. What's the next course? What's the next uh, course? Dessert. Dessert uh, what do you have? Fruits. There's a uh, not not the uh, not ice cream ah. Uh? Fruits uh? No no choice to change it to ice cream uh? Cost money. Hey, okay. just give me the fruits. Thank you. Take a look, see. Oh shit. And here's the magazines that I have. Oh shit. Bought it just in case I was bored. So I'm really enjoying this uh, Gumpla navigation catalog. Just, uh, I'm going to abuse this one, definitely abuse it to hell, and hopefully I can get another copy from uh, Mr. Family Toy of uh, Sunway Giza. And these books are from his shop so it's gonna be like it was very pristine i don't know what the hell uh why he actually have one whole stack next to his counter without uh, producing it seems like it's very new but after uh, i'm done with it it's gonna be looking like what you get in the toilet toilet paper so let's see what they do yeah can i yeah it's okay so what's your name apa nama Sorry? Asri, so it took some a few seconds just to remember his name. How about you? Sorry? What's your name? Julia. 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 Queenin. Oh, how long have you worked here? Seven years. Uh, is this your business? It's a partner. Partner, huh? How's business? Okay, yeah. Uh, we got the halal certificate. Our halal certificate, uh, very hard to get it, ah. Uh? Uh, yes. Oh, are you a uh, Muslim? No, I uh, Chinese. Oh, you Chinese, ah? Uh? Okay. Yeah. So sorry, sorry about that. So you have a uh, when you get the halal certificate, do you have to have a Muslim cook or something? Yes. Yes, ah. Uh? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Muslim. Him, ah? Uh? Oh, 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 he is Muslim. Uh? I thought he was. Uh, I thought it was Bengali or something. See? And I'm uh, sorry about that, I thought you were Malay. Oh, okay. So, seven years already in this place, huh? Okay, ha hey, thanks for your time, actually. Thank you. Very good food, very good food. So, this is a coffee maker and stuff, and this one is a. What the hell is this? It's a microwave, is it? Upper knee, Microwave, What is this? Mm hmm. Sugar and stuff like that. So the this area is uh, a very nice touch to it. It's not too like modern. Uh, it's very very homely. So it's uh, like uh, seven years or already didn't like uh, change or, or waste money on those stupid stupid uh, 
uh, renovations which cost tons and tons so it just kept with the seven year uh, renovations so they have uh, coke as well tobasco sauce very small Just fruits and uh, hopefully there's coffee. If not, there's none. What's this? Oh, they sell some kind of merchandise here. Yeah. Uh, besides food, they have all these uh, very, very hot things now. Uh, the despicable me and stuff. So and all these uh, notebooks. So when it comes to like say the ambience is not bad. I would. It's quite a unique place. It's not like super super modern like say super modern and expensive like in KL uh, Definitely and the food is good the most important thing is And the ambience I mean as I said it's not the rushy rushy here Not like in KL where everybody comes in eats and gets out get the fuck out Here is uh, you can relax here with the magazines which is pretty outdated Okay but never mind so I do would give this place uh, 8 out of 10 overall, very very good. Do come to this Ola Ola Cuisine for a very quiet western food experience for dinner and lunch. Let's see what else do we have. Bila dapat coffee ya? Ada coffee kan? Can I get my coffee now? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, tell me what 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 was it? Uh, homemade cheesecake. Homemade cheesecake. Okay. Oh, the one, the one kilogram, half a kilogram one, nah. Uh. This is Oreo cheesecake, isn't it? Okay. Can you tell like how much is it? One kilogram is. Uh, half kg is. Sixty-eight uh, ringgit. Sixty-eight. Ah, okay. So how did you make this one? Is it you, uh, Chu, Nil, Nul, Julia? Kulia, you made it yourself or, or your chef? Oh, my chef. Your chef? Uh? Do you know what ingredients is in it? Oh, it's all the original taste. Only some Oreo biscuit uh -huh. and uh, the cheese. Cheese? cheese. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me what kind of cheese is it? Uh, no. no, you don't know. Okay. Thank, thanks. Okay. So this one, you get to, get to see what it tastes like. So there's extra desserts for all. Definitely. Let's see. This or not? This one leave for him lah. I think you want it later. Later, later So sugar and uh, Nescafe inside this coffee. Two lumps of sugar. Hopefully, I mean there will be a lot too sweet. Never mind. Okay. 
I just have to use your teeth to open this. Mm -hmm. So the misconception of this coffee made is made from starch is pretty pretty yes. It's not made from starch. It's not holy starch. Last time we thought that this one is actually just starch. So let's see what it is made of. Uh, syrup glucose, mia tumbuhan, blah blah blah. Pen stable. Okay, it's full of uh, glucose syrup, hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's it, regular, blah 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 So it's not really just starch by itself So this one, I also use this one in that uh, Abo Hotel Hey Hey Try the cheesecake The Oreo cheesecake Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Good coffee. Mm. Coffee tastes better when it's very sweet. So I want to say something about the the Sarah coffee. It is not to my liking at all. It was just a bit too not cow. Of course, for the Sabrakians or the Kuchings or Kuching Knights or Kuching Lights or the Pussies, they come to Semenanjung, Malaysia, they think that the, the coffee is a bit too cow, too strong already. And uh, we go there to Kuching and everything is a bit too diluted, it seems. So let's try this cheesecake Oreo one. On the bottom is the, should be the Oreo. Mm. Not bad. The Oreo is still a bit crunchy. Hmm, I like the cheese. The cheese, there's a lemony taste to it, which uh, of course you know that my favorite cheesecake is always lemon cheesecake. No, 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 it's free. So it's very nice. So one kilogram is sixty-eight ringgit. One kilogram, I don't know how how much is it uh? Is it one lump? Uh? I love the lemony taste. Whether they make they use Oreos or not, I don't really care about the Oreos or the what you call it. The filling. The filling can be anything, can be like made of oats or whatnot or flour. The most important thing is the cheese. The cheese when it's like this is the type of cheese I like, the lemony taste type of cheese. Not too strong but uh, it's quite nice. Oreo. The chips. I Oreo is chocolate. Mm. No, 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 I don't want. I'm too full already. Hey, don't make cough jokes in bed, see? I love this one. Mm, that's about it. I'm not going to eat the cheesecake anymore. So I'm going out. Very good cheesecake. Very good. Thanks. Oh, thank you. So as I was saying, the, this place is a halal place, so not bad, not bad. So cheesecake is uh, good, very good, very, very lemony and delicious. So, uh, so this conclusion to my awesome weekend in uh, Sarawak or Kuching. As I said many times before, the Kuching is a beautiful city to actually explore, or maybe not explore very pretty place to actually to live in as well as to to visit of course uh, some people do say it kind of feels ulu but uh, if you have been to Taiping or Tapa or Bido then you know that is really ulu this Kuching here is a city 
So I really like the facilities and the cleanliness. The cleanliness of that Kuching city is delicious. And speaking of deliciousness, the girls are delicious. Although you have a uh, have a difficulty in uh, trying to like say uh, classify. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, difficulty in actually uh, classifying the girls to race. Uh, of course, it's a bit racist to actually classify them to race. Of course, uh, uh, what I'm saying is, well, we have been uh, conditioned to be racist since we were in school. Because uh, when you go into school, you have a form. The form says, "What bangser are you, or what race you are?" So you already been classified into subcategories already in the education system which uh, needs to be changed but uh, eh, as you know the government is just waiting to be like say destroyed hopefully a la Egypt star who knows maybe one day but hopefully those things can be avoided because we don't like oh I don't like bloodshed at all so uh, also based on race, uh, in Kuching, I mean, there are so many races there, Ibans, Melanaos and whatever, and Kadasan is not one of them, they are from Sabah, Kadasans that is, if I'm not mistaken. So the first uh, recipient of my girl hunt uh, is a Malay girl, she is uh, very pretty, 16 year old, forgot her name, sorry, sorry, if you're watching this. Uh, I actually had another one, a second girl hunt, uh, it was the Indian girl in... Uh, which I first saw in the Kuching Museum which of course Museum Kuching is just about cats is kind of like stupid I think they need to do something about it uh, right modernize it or put in something to attract more people and uh, asking people to pay four ringgit for a camcorder for 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 recording the place is kind of like taking a piss so I wasn't that happy about it at all So the Indian girl that I saw in in uh, in the museum Kuching, I thought she was with uh, her husband, but in actual fact, later on I I realized, or my friend Grace realized that uh, it was her dad. So whoops. So I saw her again in the way back trip, way back uh, going back, <coughs> and. Uh, as uh, my friend astutely or incredulously able to discern that she is actually a uh, mixed race uh, the father is the one she was with in the Kuching Museum and the mother is a Chinese lady so she is like a uh, mixed race and that's why she was quite attractive of course my eyes are kind of blurred sometimes when it comes to beauty and beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder um, according to my friend and she says that uh, it's, uh, she is kind of alright but not that exceptionally beautiful but never mind so I wanted to like ask her to be my second girl hunt victim or recipient and uh, well I guess uh, did not do it in fear of the parents uh, kicking my ass the mother is okay it's very small she can't kick my ass hopefully unless she pokes my eyes out or oh, and the father is a very huge fella is like one or two feet taller than I am and definitely will crush me all my balls to smithereens so I did not dare to do it but uh, we must uh, you must like have a type of uh, uh, poem in mind which is carpe diem carpe diem is i think latin for seizing the day so you never know when you're gonna die so it might be tomorrow it might be one minute later who knows and uh, if you want to do something just do it just don't kill somebody don't rape somebody don't steal somebody's stuff so just do it uh, because uh, i think you regret not doing it at all even though in the last uh, instance somebody slaps you but that's too bad uh, that's life you have to do it to get the results instead of not doing it and not getting any results at all so that was one of my uh, targets for the second girl hunt and there was a third girl hunt as well and uh, then she is I think she's Indonesian uh, Malay in the Air Asia itself a stewardess uh, very nice with orange hair and uh, tomboyish looks and very nice figure uh, voluptuous figure that is uh, not skinny but uh, very nice ass wearing uh, not not wearing g-strings or whatnot you can see the panty lines uh, the uh, next to the butt cheeks very very interesting 
uh, I guess uh, I did not approach her because uh, she is a bit uh, mature, has a career and I don't think she gives a damn about getting or doing or getting famous or something like that. And there was another chap as well that wanted to initiate my guy hunt, a uh, chap who looks quite handsome, I think he's Indonesian as well and is one of the stewards in the plane. So. Uh, nah, I don't think I'll initiate my guy hunt until I know that uh, people won't like see me as being gay. I just want to interview them, ask them about their names, what their dreams, what do they want to do in life, late in life or currently in life. So that's my my mission is to give everybody a five minutes chance of stardom. Well, you never know. Somebody might uh, might see the the video and might like the look of the person and they have already the bio data there how they talk how they conduct themselves whether they are uh, well well how they how they actually behave or something like that and maybe one day some they might get a role in uh, in an advertisement or whatnot who knows the most important thing is take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. When you take a chance on a one green line, take a chance on me, take a chance on me. If you know your very best, where will we now? Take a, take a chance, take a chance on me. That's our bow, okay? So what's my next adventure? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I'll just uh, initiate my KL hunt so far, Selangor hunt or whatever you want to call it or whatever I want to call it. Uh, keep on doing that. Uh, go to ICW or Infinite Creation Workshop and uh, interview and pick their brains to the death about all these Gundams. So yeah, so that's what you can call show me your Gundams because uh, whatever they have is already inside that uh, that shop lot above first floor shop lot in the Sunway commercial area. Well, I enjoyed the lunch here definitely, and it's even sweeter when I don't need to pay for it. Uh, yeah. That's how life it is for an unemployed person like me. It's a warm day again. And how come in Kuching it really poured? I mean, it rained for a couple of hours. The eve of uh, Malaysia Day, it rained quite a lot. Until I just, well, just don't give a damn. I don't want to see any fireworks. And fortunately, the fireworks did not go up at uh, 12 midnight as it normally should be in Malaysia it's weird uh, 10 15 or whatever it just went off uh, so this is very very weird indeed so uh, I think we are just following our own uh, lights and what uh, when we want to do it just like what I do I do not go for the norm or what other people do I just do it just do it so this has been a uh, Jericho production also known as a wait a minute production see you Malaysia and uh, in this I had a very enjoyable pearl time at this Ola Ola cuisine area for Western food do come here and enjoy some quite lovely fried stuff chicken that is I love the chicken here and if you're Muslim or a Jew definitely come here because it's halal they got the halal certificate it is quite delectable so see you in Malaysia and bye bye